Welcome back to the Mastering AI series. I'm Maribel Lopez, the founder and principal analyst at Lopez Research. In previous episodes, we discussed some of the critical elements of an AI strategy. In this episode, we're going to discuss several tips for how you get started. This Mastering AI for CSP series, covering how to best leverage and scale AI to drive CX and network improvements, get the right data foundation, and practical do's and don'ts, is brought to you by Amdocs. Every organization, including CSPs, struggle to realize the full value of AI projects and move beyond proof of concept and into production at scale. A CSP needs to define a clear AI strategy in three areas people, processes, and technology to scale their AI efforts successfully. Let's explore each of these areas. The first area, technology, has been well covered in this series, but it's worth recapping what's essential. CSPs want to modernize their infrastructure, reduce cost, deliver high quality, and unlock new revenue potential. CSPs also need to meet the increasing demand for highly personalized services that are contextual, adaptive, and predictive, AI can assist with all of these goals. But to unlock the power of AI, CSPs must unlock the power of their data, which spans from network through customer data. A fundamental building block of any AI initiative is data management. Data management is the practice of collecting, keeping, and using data securely, efficiently, and cost-effectively. CSPs must look for solutions with a well-defined process for collecting data across multiple CSP systems, integrating the data, and preparing the data for ingestion into models. An AI strategy requires a CSP to reevaluate its governance mechanisms to track and understand items such as data lineage and data sovereignty. CSPs also need to work with their technology vendors to understand what type of data visibility, data access, and reporting tools are available in the vendor system. As part of data governance, CSPs need systems that offer explainability and interpretability of AI models. This requires CSPs to select solutions with embedded AI. These solutions must also support breaking down silos to create cross-domain data access. Today, CSP systems are hard-coded but they must move to systems that are predictive and responsive. To do this, CSPs need domain-specific solutions where the AI workflows are embedded into the products and solutions that can offer cloud-native development. CSPs also need to operationalize AI by creating an AI development lifecycle framework that defines the process for how the CSP will develop, test, deploy, and refine models. This lifecycle will help CSPs to create a closed-loop system that supports both automation and process improvement. As part of this process, CSPs need to create a workflow to collect feedback from various business users on the effectiveness of AI solutions. When working with AI-enabled products, CSPs should ask vendors to describe their processes for updating and refining AI-driven solutions. These are just a few of the examples of what to consider in designing an AI technology strategy. In addition to technology, AI deployments also require CSPs to rethink processes in critical areas, such as selecting projects, embracing automation, and embedding insights into workflows to create a culture of data-driven decision-making. CSPs can start the process by using key performance indicators to identify and prioritize AI use cases. Examples of KPIs include improving your net promoter score, reducing churn, and reducing the time it takes to resolve issues. While a CSP may start by selecting a use case that improves network operation, a CSP would ideally identify and define a portfolio of use cases that support multiple business groups. Instead of designing their own AI solutions, CSP should start with one of the many proven low-cost off-the-shelf AI solutions and get started right away. From a process standpoint, CSP should leverage telecom industry-specific solutions that already exist and save custom model creation for processes that differentiate its business. Once a CSP has defined KPIs and AI use cases, it can skip the proof of concept step. Instead, the CSP should focus on rapidly deploying smaller, well-scoped projects that have a measurable set of outcomes. These are projects where CSPs can leverage AI that's built into an application and deliver immediate value. CSPs with AI-enabled apps and services should use the insight delivered by these systems, such as your OSS BSS and contact center software, 
to create a data-driven decision-making culture. For example, AI can support sales with dynamic pricing, IT with network operations, and customer care agents with suggestions on how to resolve a customer's issues. Additionally, AI automation helps CSPs cut costs, bring new consistency, speed, and scalability to all of your business processes. Finally, a CSP's tech team must work with business leaders to understand how AI can support the business. For example, the data science team can work with business unit experts to identify new target markets and products. To improve the solution's overall effectiveness, IT leaders should also work with business unit subject matter experts to refine models after they've entered production. The third part of the strategy focuses on your talent. The success or failure of a strategy is based on the people. AI will impact many parts of the CSP's organization, which means executive sponsorship is essential. A CSP's AI efforts must be well understood and driven by company leaders. In addition to executive leadership, CSPs also need to cultivate talent within the various areas of the company. Hiring many data scientists isn't always an option, and it isn't enough to ensure success. One way to ensure you have the right AI talent is to cultivate it from within by creating AI skills training programs for your existing employees. A CSP should also embrace online educational programs to upskill its workforce. This is important because these individuals know what types of telecom data are available and what challenges need to be addressed with better data analytics and AI. Tech leaders should also evaluate how telecom-specific AI solutions can drive meaningful impact to KPIs such as customer retention and network uptime. To recap, successful AI implementations require a combination of people, processes, and technology strategies. From data-driven decisions to automated and self-healing networks, it's clear that AI reduces cost, improves operations, and accelerates innovation. Today, AI technology vendors have built solutions that make it possible to apply AI across the company to support sales, customer service, marketing, and engineering. Thank you for attending this series on Mastering AI. This Mastering AI for CSP series, covering how to best leverage and scale AI to drive CX and network improvements, get the right data foundation, and practical do's and don'ts, is brought to you by Amdocs.